Hello everyone, this is Stella Rasu and today I'm going to talk about how much I love One Piece and why I like it. Uh, to be completely honest, I'm not in the One Piece fandom, I hardly ever draw things from One Piece digitally. I usually just draw them on paper because I'm the only one looking at them because I'm not posting them anywhere. Um, I really like how freedom is portrayed in One Piece. Um, I'm, I'm really excited to see how this adventure is going to end. Or actually, I don't want it to end, but I know that it will end eventually and I want to see how it ends. And I'm really committed to this anime. I watched it back in 2013 and uh, since then I've been re-watching it almost every year at least once. So yeah, I've kind of seen it five times, seven times already, uh, which is a lot <laughs> considering that it's now at uh, over 900 episodes. But yeah, I like it that much. Uh, so... As far as my favorite character goes, that's going to be Luffy. This is probably the reason I, I'm i still sticking around One Piece. Because it just happens that the main character is my favorite character. That usually doesn't happen, but it happened in this anime and I'm really happy with it. Um, and, uh, I, yeah... I just uh, really love watching Luffy doing his things. Like, I fall in love with him every other chapter or something. And it's pretty nice. Uh, okay, so the latest arc right now is one arc. And it's like, oh, finally, Samurai and Ninja and all that. And. Um, it's really surreal because it doesn't really fit the One Piece uh, image. Like, uh, I always had uh, this image of, um, like, One Piece is set around uh, 1,500 or so. Like, um, so, I don't know how Japan was at that point. It was probably like Wano. And it's like, I, I never expected we will see Japan there, and uh, now we're seeing it, and it's really cool. And I also fell in love with Yamato, like, a lot. Um, just a note here that I'm going to be referring to Yamato as he, him, because he wants to be a man. Let the, let the guy be a man. Yeah. Okay, so he's... Uh, I had canon him as a trans man, like uh, f assigned fem female at birth, but is totally a man and very cool, and I love him. <laughs> and um, no, this isn't the C part. I don't sip him with Luffy at all. Um, I just really have a difficulty sipping Luffy with people because. I think Luffy is pretty much the definition of uh, an aromantic asexual, but well, we'll leave with that. And um, so I just would love to see them as friends and interacting like friends. Uh, I think it's a nice parallel with uh, Roger and Odin because, uh, you know, like how we. Yamato wants to be Oden, and uh, Luffy is like Roger re reincarnation. I don't even know what it is. Okay, uh, they are too. They have too many things in common with Roger. So yeah, so I see that same dy dynamic from there here too. I don't think Yamato will be joining the crew, but um, it would be pretty cool if he did. I would love him to be a member of the crew. It would probably be very fun. And uh, yeah, this is the first time that I was drawing Yamato actually. Uh, because uh, he's still a relatively new character. I think he hasn't even appeared in the anime yet. And um, yeah, I, I think he's pretty good. <laughs> so 
Um, as for the general idea for the one mark, as I said, I really love that it's up in Japan and um, we have seen many things I wasn't expecting to see, like uh, Sanji using uh, the Jerma thing and becoming invisible because, yeah, cool. Uh, Robin being a geisha was very nice. I love Robin, sorry. Um, anyways, uh, it's all fantastic and generally I love how it's turned out because to be completely honest I didn't like Trish Rosa arc that much uh, it was cool sure and pretty nice but I didn't like that they were um, it was only half the crew like they were separated and in uh, the Big Mom arc they were also separated also I liked that a little bit more because I loved Reizu uh, but yeah, now they're finally all together once again, and there's even Jinbei there, new edition. And it's fantastic, and I love seeing them work together again, because last time it was Punk Hazard, and honestly, I loved that one. And I'm loving Wano as well. And I hope that it will get even better from now on, considering that we're finally riding the final wave, let's say, because like... Uh, the, Oda has Oda Sensei has said that it will be yeah I can talk it will be around five more years or so so I gotta say that we're probably on our final wave to One Piece and um, I think it will get even more interesting from now on and I just I can't contain my excitement like I was laying very low with One Piece the last few years and um, I think it was probably because the the Mugiwaras were separated, and now that they're back together, I think I'm back to it. I've refound my maiden's love, let's say, because I watched One Piece back when I was in middle school, first year of middle school. So, um, the feelings I had then and now are completely different. I see it in a completely different light, but it still brings me the same wonderful sentiments that it brought me then. And um, I've started drawing One Piece again, so it's mainly my original character, so I'm not posting anywhere, but yeah. So, I really don't know what's going to happen with one of who's going to win. Like, I know that technically Luffy's probably going to win eventually. I don't see the Mugiras losing, losing again. Like, uh, yes, Sabaody was a necessity. But uh, that was a necessity and a turning point for One Piece. Same with the eighth death. Uh, this time around, I don't think it's a turning point. It's uh, We've already been past the turning point. We're not turning again. We're going straight ahead to One Piece. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. And I've just been here talking about One Piece uh, because, uh, okay, I drew this because it's my One Piece anniversary. Uh, I don't even, in March, I don't even remember how many years it is, like a seven, eight, uh, nine. <laughs> I'm a bit confused if I'm honest. Uh, it should be eight years, but I'm not completely sure. So I was like, okay, I'll draw something digital with One Piece. Like, yes, let, let's do it. Let's draw something digitally. We can draw Luffy digitally. We can do this. And here's the result. If I'm honest, uh, it was really difficult drawing Yamato. I had a really hard draw time drawing him because I have never drawn him before. But it was a very nice and very nice experience. And I loved coloring his hair. Beautiful hair. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm also very proud of the way I colored the, the skins and I said it them. Um, it's a pretty normal way of coloring, but I really, really liked it. Uh, I liked how it turned out, like very vibrant. And it usually doesn't because I don't draw one piece and one piece color has vibrant colors and all that. And uh, yeah, 
anyways it was a very fun experience i would generally do it. i think i will do it again i want to do it again and i'll probably draw them again especially yamato because i'm drawing luffy anyways okay so we're reaching the end of the video thank you very much for watching and please tell me in your comments what do you think of one piece do you like it do you hate it let me know bye